So uh, this says, when a girl downplays herself, when a girl is clearly attractive and yet has a frame that downplays who she is, what she's accomplished, et cetera, how do you best work on it? Just take the frame and spin it in your favor as if you're doing her a favor by talking to her, getting a lot more arrogant and crappy and taking a more dominant spot. Just wondering how people would see something like this. I think he said something later. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. So I, I, I point that out because this is going to be a common phenomenon. As you start to get more into being confident in yourself and start being able to you know, actually approach women and actually look them in the eye and not be afraid of them or, or feel nervous or anxious, you're going to start to notice that there are going to be girls that are more attractive that are going to be attracted to you, right? And you're going to have a bit of confidence to approach them, right? But here's the thing. You got to understand there's going to be a transitional period between when you are just getting low, low hanging fruit and when you're going after hotties, you know, there's going to be a level of like where you've built a little bit of confidence, but part of you still feels like it's still stuck in your old way of thinking about yourself, right? Because just because you learned some stuff from me and you're going, you're, you're, you're going out there and you're practicing this stuff, you, you have all these years of thinking about yourself one way and of operating one way. That doesn't just go away because you're trying to feign confidence. Like at the beginning, you're going to feign confidence and doing the exercises, it's going to build it into a habit where you have actual confidence, but that's not going to take away from like the party. It's like, nah, these girls, these girls are, are falling for this. Like I'm saying these things and acting these things. And these, these girls, these girls find me attractive. Like, nah, that this is a, this, your brain's going to really be like, this is a joke. And there's no way these, these these hot girls should not be finding me attractive. The ones that should be finding me attractive are these ones over here that I was going after before. Guy, I got to tell you, guy, that is all a normal part of the process, all right? So when you feel these things, just recognize this is normal. It is normal to think, oh, my God, like, these girls want to talk to me what's going on, and you have to bypass that. This is when I go into the exercise of, like, I found in terms of building my confidence, I had to start making a point of every time I felt or thought a negative thing about myself, I had to combat that feeling with five to seven positive thoughts. So if I were to say something like, you know, oh, there's no way that girl would like me. Wait, wait, wait. You're awesome. You're amazing. You're handsome. You got your own business. People really like you. You're great. And I would have to consciously do that exercise every single time. And I did it for like a year. And then uh, fast forward to a year later where I had minimal negative thoughts. Where now these days, all my thoughts about myself are very, very positive. If there were, if, 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 even still, if there's one that sneaks in here, they're like, oh, you're not going to do that. You know, blah, blah, blah. I go back to wait. You have success. People like you. People listen to you. You're a really great guy. Girls love you and find you attractive. Like that's going to be a never ending exercise that just gets easier because you'll have more positive thoughts about yourself. And as you're telling yourself more positive thoughts, you'll be able to convince yourself that you actually deserve this. But suffice to say, in terms of what I just showed you guys, understand that while you're thinking, I don't know for sure if I really deserve these 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 uh, really hot nines and tens. I keep trying to tell you guys that women themselves at large, do not think about themselves like that. You got to understand, let's go through a woman's attraction lifestyle, right? From age zero to, we'll say age like 13, objectively 14, right? Women are in this weird place where they're still kind of like boys. And so they're getting joked around by boys. They're getting, you know, pushed around on the playground and chased. And all this stuff that's like basically telling women, you suck. I don't want to be around you. You're nothing, whatever this net. And then she has family members at home that are also like, you know, oh, you're just like everybody else and blah, blah, blah. And aren't comp giving all these compliments. Some some parents do go overboard with their, their little princesses and you're such a blah. But I find in most girls' journeys of growing up, they're not, they're, they're tomboys. They're not being called cute and attractive. So they have about a good 13 or 14 years where the world is just treating them normal. Women that have a normal head on their shoulders have the base of that. So then 13 and 14 hits. And all of a sudden they go through that summer where they're, they turn pretty and they start busting out boobs and butts and they, they get curves and their hair grows longer and they, they learn how to put makeup on all sort of stuff. And now the world goes from, for years they've been being told, they're just like everybody else and they're nothing to like, oh, you're the hottest of hot. Well, guess what? Just like I tell you guys, you know, it takes, uh, it, it's habitual for you to change your thought process. A woman's thought process about herself does not change just because she suddenly grew some boobs in her butt at 14. Because she has 14 years of thinking, everybody should treat me like a normal person. And that's why I tell you guys that like nines and tens are baffled when the world at large is like, like she's pretty and she's attractive and we're going to give her everything on a silver platter for something that she had no control over. Like 
She didn't know when she was one through 13 that she was going to end up being a bombshell. She was just getting treated like everybody else. So now women are like, I don't understand why guys are treating me so differently. I'm just like everybody else. Like I go home, I pop pimples and my, my farts are over, overly nasty. I had a woman that I roomed with in college that was like one of the hottest girls on campus and people could not understand why I didn't date her. She had irritable bowel syndrome. She was a messy SOB, just throwing weaving hair and stuff around the house to where it's like she was very inconsiderate at times to where I just could not be attracted to her. But yet the world at large is like, well, she's so blah, blah, blah. And that experience, by the way, taught me early on that just because she's attractive, it don't mean nothing if she doesn't have a good personality. Like you need to really understand that this is all just a shell and that this shell does not mean that they're going to be a good match for you. The shell is purposely designed by nature to make guys want to mate with her so they can procreate and have kids. That is why these women look hot. But women themselves are not thinking the ones, again, with the good head on their shoulders, I'm not thinking I'm the hottest of the hot and no guy, no guy that's above a six can even talk to me and blah, 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 blah. They're just sitting there thinking, no guys are approaching me. Like, I need to be approached too. What's going on? And that's why they're also easier to talk to and easier to approach because the world at large is looking at their shell and thinking, well, I, she's too good for me. We're taking, we're visually saying she's so hot that she is not in my league. And women, and those women are sitting there thinking, I mean, I like to ride roller coasters and I like to, you know, I, I, I grew up with a, mo with a mother and father that had a great relationship. I, I know how to, how to please a man and how to make, let him lead this and that. And you're not giving them the chance because you're thinking because of how they look on the outside that that's what they are. I have been in Hollywood for 15 years now. I have met some of the hottest women that have the ugliest personalities. And I met some of the women that are the most average that their personality is so, is so amazing. It bumps them up from like a five to like a nine and a half. So I stress this because you could be seeing these hot girls and you're thinking they're out of your league and they don't have that thought in their head. So if they don't have the thought in their head, you don't have the thought in your head. Because again, until you actually get to know them, you don't know if they're tens. And also, again, you could see that 10 and you go up to her and she starts cursing up a storm and starts talking about she has six or five baby daddies. She's not going to be a 10 to you anymore. So I leave my judgments now for women as like this. Okay, objectively, she's hot, but I don't know her rating until I've talked to her and taken her out. That is the only way she gets a rating from me. Right now, her looks are allowing the door to be open for my research, but until I've done the research, she gets no judgment. This allows me to, A, be indifferent to if she rejects me or not, but also, I don't go into any situation having all these feelings for a person that's going to throw me off my game, especially when I do not actually know them. So hopefully, that gives you some guidance on how to think about this, because, again, you're thinking these 10s are judging you and these 9s are judging you. I can assure you the majority of them are, are really not. You know, and they're only going to judge you once you, they actually get to know you a bit, which is good for you because you want them to judge you based on your merit and how you are with them versus just like your looks. And also, also, just because we as guys judge women for, and how we feel about them on their looks, do not assume that they're, um, how do I say this? They're not adding as much intensity to their judgment of our looks as we think. Yes, there are tons of videos on YouTube that will make you think that women are just all about looks these days. Six feet, six ass, blah, blah, blah. I can assure you, I'm five foot nine and a half. I've dated women that are 5'11". I have a friend from college that is 5'6", that is married to a woman that is 5'11". Do not make your brain believe these people, all right? Go out there, treat women well, and when you see women that you want to get, just go after them. Worst they can say is no. Best that happens is you get to date a hot chick that also has a great personality. So hopefully it helps you out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.